Harry, I'm Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland, back out mud lacking at the embankment tip today. I'm back out, I've got my three daughters with me, and you'll probably hear them in the background rather than see much of them. Uh, but yeah, I do occasionally metal detect and mud lack with them. So we're out today having a bit of fun, and we're just going to see what we can find for you guys in a video. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys in the first hit. Here we are, guys, first find this morning, I'm out, I'm out with the kids today. And uh, yeah, we've got a fragment of a, a clay pipe. I'm going to be introducing my kids a little bit more this year. As I explained to you in the video, they'll probably be with me a bit more. So do bear uh, with me if you do hear them screaming in the background. I also found this, which I thought was interesting. It just looks like a bit of plate. And uh, yeah, it says Johnson Brothers England with a crown on it. So yeah, we're going to look that up. We'll find out with Johnson Brothers. Maybe, well, I think it must have been crockery of some sort, so we'll find out when that is, but there you go. A lovely Johnson Brothers England, that's part of a plate, so let's keep going, and uh, yeah, we'll see what else we can find. So me and my kids were digging into the embankment there, and we found this, look at that, a little Waldy clay pipe, and Glasgow, you may see my kids in the intro, but yeah, I'll probably never ever show them on camera, and we got a little bottle stopper. I don't know if it says Ronnie or Bonnie. Oh, sorry, it says Bon Hill. There you go, that's local. Bon Hill McDougall. And that's an inward screw bottle stopper. Very nice, I thought it says Bonnie. There you go, but it's Bon Hill, which is a local town about five miles away. Or something like that, maybe more. There you go, lovely little bottle stopper. We dig it again. Look at the size of this big pier bolt that's come out here. I didn't even realise it was a pier bolt. Or a pier down here, there is a missing Roman pier. Look at bits of pottery coming out everywhere. And that's floral design, you can hear the kids in the background. Let's just go home. So I'll probably take them home because it's a bit of a cold day. I got a lovely blacking pot, which has seen better days to be honest, over a hundred year old. They were used for cleaning cookers, as far as Derek has told me. Yeah, there you go, look at that, part of an old jelly jar as well in there. There's bottles here, so yeah, this is worth a little dig. I then get a little stoneware ink, which has got a bit of a rust on it. That's probably from the pier bolt. And uh, where you do find uh, rusty items, you do tend to find that over the years the rust, the bits come off and they'll actually sell onto the bottles. But yeah, a little bit of genolite will clean that up just absolutely lovely. So yeah, I'm going to take that home and show you how it comes up. You can actually see this the rust. So yeah, here we go. I had to move away from the girls because. They're just too noisy. <laughs> and there you go, probably a little ink well that came out of the embankment. It's just a lovely uh, aqua ink well. They're nice, pretty common. We do find loads of these. And of course, the penny ink well. And uh, if anybody's interested in ever purchasing any of these bottles, as some people have came with me privately, I'm going to add my eBay account into my uh, videos. And if anybody wants to buy any, they're more than happy to just go and check it out and purchase whatever you like. And uh, if anybody wants to make any comments about my eBay account or me as well, uh, or anything about me, do it in my face, because if you don't do it in my face, you're not getting an answer from me. And uh, I'm done with all this, these people that don't like me. If you don't like me, tough shit, deal with it. And uh, that's, that's, that's the end of what I'm going to say about this, because I've actually disappeared for a couple of weeks, because I just can't be bothered with this anymore. And uh, part of it is because my wife has it well as well, but part of it is because I just can't be bothered with the hassle anymore. And uh, yeah, two lovely little finds. And yeah, let's keep going and see if we can get it nails. You see this, it's just come out of a wet pit in there, which is near enough on the bottom. Pretty common, find loads of these in Scotland. Scots Emulsion. So there you go, that's a lovely Scots Emulsion bottle, which is absolutely lovely. There you go. So we're going to carry on for a half an hour, it's very very windy, so I'm going to take my kids up the road soon. Just a short video, just to see what we can find. Well we found a little relic with the metal detector, can you tell me what it is? I know what it is, it's part of an old padlock. <laughs> so there you go, a lovely old padlock. Found with the metal detector. Well here we go, here's a local bottle stopper which is Gillespie and Barton, trademark inward screw. With a wet in a big bottle, I don't know whether that's beer or not, but yeah, the Martin again, Gillespie is another local bottle stopper. So I've just found this on the beach, and you can see, it may look like just a bit of crusty iron. I reckon that's part of an incendiary bomb from World War II. You can see slight lines in here. 
just here, you may just be able to see the lines at my finger. Definite part of a fuse that, I'd say that's an incendiary bomb for World War II. There you go, Blitz the Clay Bank, incendiary bomb. Beautiful, what a find. Along here in the banks of the River Clyde, you can see this building here. These were little outposts for soldiers during World War II because they reckoned if the Germans were successful during World War II getting up the Clyde, they were going to try and stop an invasion by shooting them as they tried to come off boats. And there's plenty of these stationed all the way up and down the Clyde. And that's what these were, they were little like Nissan huts for soldiers and it was to stop an invasion. Uh, I don't know whether they would have had guns on them or guns inside them, but yeah, they would have shot soldiers. That would have been the plan if, you know, it came off and the Germans did invade Clay Bank. This is what they would have done. They would have sat in these huts and they would have shot at the soldiers as they tried to get off the boats. Looking at the ground and I can't really see it and I'm going to you spot the fine. I've seen it here. Look at that, there you go. This looks to me like I've found a crown. Now this is no ordinary crown, I know what this is for. This is a perfume bottle, wood, or the metal, and that's a crown. So there you go, a lovely little perfume bottle lid. Nice! Looking along the beach, just found a little stopper, probably from sauce, so there you go. Most of these come from carton sauce bottles and camp coffee and chic eh, chicory. But yeah, there you go. Lovely little glass stopper on the beach. It's a bit misty down there. Everything's fallen out now after a big freeze. It was minus seven this morning. Here we go, walking along the beach. Nice furniture cream's come out. It's cracked, so I'll not be taking it with me. But yeah, that's come out of the dump. The embankment tips are right here. So there you go. A lovely little furniture cream bottles come out. Nothing spectacular. I'll chuck that away in the bin. It's cracked, it's done. So yeah, I like to get them off the beach before anybody else comes along and finds them. Yep. We're walking along, I've got another bit of a floral design plate, it looks like, this time. It doesn't look too old actually, maybe 1930s, it's got some flower designs it looks like on it. I've got my daughter with me this morning, so I have to just watch her every two minutes. And uh, yeah, here we go, I found another clay pipe that's cracked to, well, it's well done. Not pictorial, anything on it at all, but yeah, it's another clay pipe, loads of them down here. And uh, yeah along the beach again and uh, yeah look at that part number two of the incendiary bomb well the vegans had enough i think so yeah we're going to call it a day after this find and uh, yeah there you go part of an incendiary bomb number two from world war ii again blitz the clay bank see this one a bit better there's with the fuse with the held in here it's blown well yeah that's another remains of another incendiary bomb incendiary bomb number two and that no guys my wee daughters are getting a wee bit cold and uh, so yeah, we're going to get them home and get them some tea, get them warmed up. So on that note guys, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you guys in another adventure soon. Hopefully we'll be back out and Andy and the boys at some point. Right now my wife's not well, and uh, that, I think that's all everybody needs to know. It's quite serious, so yeah, that's why you're not seeing a lot of me at the moment. But maybe in the future, and that's just a maybe.